Hey everyone, today I want to talk to you about the most exciting, time-saving, and anxiety-saving products that's come out recently. Imagine being able to put your camera body into a housing at the beginning of a trip and never take it out again until you're packing to go home. To do that, you would need some way to download photos and charge the camera while it's inside of the housing. And that's exactly what I want to show you. It's our new USB charging and data transfer bulkhead for underwater housings. If you want to stay up to date on everything that makes it easier to take great photos underwater, please subscribe to our channel and use the link in the description below to sign up for our weekly email newsletter. We will never spam you. We only send out tips, techniques, and inspiration from the pros once a week on Fridays. Okay, so let's talk about this bulkhead. This is designed particularly for our 200DL and 50DL housings for full frame mirrorless cameras. It could be used on other housings that have enough room for the USB connection, and I'll talk a little bit about that later. The beauty of this product is the simplicity. Install the bulkhead in an M16 threaded port and attach our Hyperflex USB Type-C to Type-C cable on the inside between the bulkhead and the camera. This gives you a USB-C port accessible from the outside of the housing for charging and high-speed data transfer. Just remove the cap from the bulkhead, plug it into your laptop to transfer photos and charge, then replace the cap when you're ready to go diving. It really is that simple and it saves an incredible amount of time each evening. Plus it eliminates the natural anxiety that we all have every time we put an expensive camera into an underwater housing. You can just keep going and keep diving and keep shooting. The installation is so easy. Remove the plug from the M16 port using a large flat screwdriver. Keep the plug and o-ring in a safe place. Check the o-ring on the USB bulkhead. Put the smallest amount of lubricant on the visible surface of the o-ring. Put whatever's left on your finger along the clean sealing surface of the housing. Thread the USB bulkhead into the port and tighten it with an 11 16 wrench. On the inside of the housing, connect one end of the Hyperflex USB cable. Connect the other end when you install your camera in the housing. That's it. When you want to charge and transfer data, you just remove the waterproof cap and plug in your USB cable. You have to use a high quality USB Type-C version 3.0 or above for data transfer. There are some lower quality cables that you might be using already to charge your phone or iPad, but they won't work well for you in this application. Not all cables are bipolar, so if charging and data transfer isn't happening for you, you can just remove the cable on the outside of the housing, rotate it and reinsert it. You don't have to change anything on the inside of the housing. Nikon, Olympus and Panasonic cameras will be automatically recognized as a hard drive on your computer. Sony cameras will prompt you to open the USB connection mode. Select image transfer MSC. You can configure this to be the default on your camera. Canon cameras will require the use of the Canon EOS utility software, which is available for either Mac or PC. Always remember to put the waterproof cap back on before you go in the water. We made the insert of the port a bright red color to give you a visual indicator that something's wrong if you're getting ready to get wet without a cap in place. Now, if you're trying to use this in other housings, I want to cover the spatial requirements. The Hyperflex cable is 5.5 inches long. It requires a minimum of three quarters of an inch free space inside of the housing on the side of the camera where the USB connector plugs in. The inside bottom of the port must have a clear pathway with no more than four inches between the inside of the port and the USB port on the camera. For these spatial reasons, the bulkhead is not compatible with iClight housings for DSLR cameras or iClight 200DLM housings. 
We have a list of compatible iGlide housings on the product page, which is linked in the description below. That's all there is to it. Of course, if you have questions on this or anything related to underwater photography, please comment below or reach out to us via email to iKlite at iKlite.com. Thanks for joining me and happy shooting.